In V-Ray Next, we have incorporated the brand new NVIDIA AI Denoiser, which uses an artificial intelligence-based denoising algorithm to estimate what the image should look like without the noise. It does this very fast, so it is very useful for developing your scene and getting an interactive preview as quickly as possible. To enable the NVIDIA AI Denoiser, let's open up the V-Ray Asset Editor, and in the Render Rollout, toggle on the Denoise option. Now, in the right-hand Flyout menu, expand the Denoiser Rollout menu. You'll see that the default setting is the V-Ray Denoiser. To change it, click the arrow for the drop-down menu, and then switch over to the NVIDIA AI Denoiser. Keep in mind that the AI Denoiser only works with NVIDIA GPUs, regardless of whether you're rendering on CPU or GPU. Now, before we start the interactive render, let's set the update frequency parameter to 100. This will ensure that the Denoiser updates as quickly as possible. I'm also going to use V-Ray GPU as my render engine, since I've set up this scene to use GPU specifically. All right, now let's start an interactive render. As you can see, the image clears out quite quickly, giving us a nice preview of our scene. Right now, the scene is lit only by an image in the environment slot. To change that, let's head to the Lights tab in the Asset Editor and turn on the dome light labeled Environment Light, which contains an HDR to give us some nice image-based lighting. Now we'll see the NVIDIA AI Denoiser kicks in very quickly and clears up the image, showing us the scene with much more clarity. Let's switch perspectives to a few other views we have set up here. And again, observe how quickly the denoiser gives us a sense of the scene. We can even compare the difference the denoiser makes between the raw and denoised image simply by clicking the Switch to RGB Channel option in the frame buffer.